Hey, what's up? This is Scott. What I'm doing today is a quick tutorial on a new feature in Ableton Live 9 called Clip Automation. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put dynamic effects on a live performance. So for example, let's say you want to do a filter sweep on your voice at a certain point in song you're performing. You can have that happen hands-free automatically using Clip Automation. Kind of confusing, kind of hard to explain. Uh, so I had my man Exaltron roll through the studio to do a quick demo for you. He's going to do a quick cover of David Bowie's Let's Dance. He gets pretty into it, um, he gets pretty decked out, and he moves around the studio. I don't want you to pay too much attention to what he's doing. Um, pay attention to what is happening at the bottom of the screen, uh, how that clip automation is controlling the devices at the bottom of the screen, and basically freeing up Exaltron to be 100% fabulous. All right, well, that was exciting. Thank you, Exaltron. Um, what you're seeing right here is basically the same. This is the same session. I've just deleted out those two vocal tracks that I was using. Um, all this stuff here, these are pre-recorded clips. Um, this is all stuff that I created in, in Ableton. If you have any questions about um, how I created these sounds, they're all just native uh, live devices, native live sounds. Um, so feel free to ask in the comments. So um, what we need to do here to get that uh, dynamic vocal automation, we need two vocal tracks, and I'm going to explain why in a minute. So first I'm going to go ahead and create these two tracks. I'm going to say insert audio track. And, oops. And we'll create another one. Okay, so now we've got two audio tracks. Um, the first one is going to be for our live vocals. So I'm going to go ahead and name these. First one is going to be live folks. And I'm going to tab to the next one, and that's going to be vocal effects. So that's where our dummy clip is going to go, our empty clip. Now, on the live vocal track, um, I want to just monitor, set that to auto for monitoring. And instead of sending our audio straight to the master out, I'm going to send that to vocal effects. And so what that's going to do is it's going to um, monitor our live vocals in. I'm actually going to use two. That's where I normally would put my vocal microphone. So external in from two. Set that to record. It's not getting anything right now because I don't have my microphone hooked up. Um, and then on our vocal effects, set our monitor to in. The reason that we set our monitor to in on the vocal effects is because we want to be able to actually play a clip and get audio through at the same time. That's kind of the whole point of this exercise is that we can have a dummy clip which is um, a, an audio clip and we've just taken our audio down to zero and at the same time we have audio coming through, live audio coming through from this track. So we need some clips um, well, the other thing I did in the original was, sorry, I put my A, my send A and my send B were cranked up. Um, send A by default is reverb and B is delay. That's in the, that's in the template anytime you open a new um, session in live. So I'm going to go into my user library 
and under presets I made a folder here called Let's Dance and I just pulled all my effects and um, clips from the other session that I used. Um, I don't want to spend too much time creating all these effects from scratch um, or re-recording the vocals obviously but I did want to show you how, um, how I created the track. So here's our um, Let's Dance verse and I'm going to pull that into our live vocals. And what's happened actually when I pull this in is it's it's pulled in um, the effect that I had loaded on that track and it's actually um, changed my uh, all my routing and my monitoring back to what I had for that track. So now I have to um, just change this back audio to vocal effects. So that's something to watch out for. And that was two, that doesn't make a big difference. But Okay, so now we're back to what we had. Um, and then I'm gonna take this vocal, there's all our vocals. I'm gonna take this and option drag it over to our vocal effects. Now eventually this is going to be a dummy clip, so I'm going to want to take um, the audio down to zero, but I'm not going to do that yet because that audio is going to tell me where I want my automation. So that's important. So before we can do automation, we need some devices to automate, otherwise we're not going to see anything under our envelopes. So let's double click on that track and we're going to drag this in. Let's do it in the in the chronological order um, that we automated these. So I'm going to pull in our ping pong, and then we had cheesy speaker, and I'll go through exactly what's happening in each of these. And then we had our beat repeat, and then this is just a rack that I created called the Roto Filter which is a um, combination of erosion and auto filter and I, I used a utility here um, to crank up the gain a little bit and I'll go into more particulars on that. So first off we had our ping pong and this was on. Because it's a delay what I wanted to do was fade in the dry wet so that it so that that uh, delay kind of fades in smoothly. So if we go into now, watch what happens. This is really cool. The last thing that I adjusted here was this dry wet on this device. So now, in the clip automation, if I go into envelopes, it's automatically focused me on ping pong delay, dry wet. So the next thing I do, I don't have to do any of this messing around in these menus. The next thing I do is I can draw in that automation. Now, the problem with that is if I want something gradual, I don't want that snap to grid happening. So if I go up to my options, I can uncheck that snap to grid, and then I can do something a little more smooth here. I think we had something like I always go back and adjust it. Okay, and then the next thing we had was our cheesy speaker. And all I did with this, I just, you know, I dropped out, um, I dropped out the uh, low and mid bass and the high treble, uh, just to kind of give it that on the radio, that's the lyrics, on the radio, um, that kind of radio sound, that uh, old timey radio sound. So. Turn that device off. Again, that's the last thing that I touch. That's the last parameter that I adjusted. So when I go into that clip and I look at the clip automation, there it is, cheesy device. That means cheesy speaker device on. And now I can just right about there, turn it on. That's on the radio. 
it doesn't have to be perfect because you're only going to hear it when audio is coming through. So that's that's not. I don't want to get too particular with that. Okay, so that is on the radio. And now we're going to go back to our effects. Double click on the track. Um, beat repeat, same thing. Just device on, device off. Um, this is a very standard beat repeat. Grid is set to um, 30 second note. Uh, interval is 1 8. Um, that's just a very standard kind of stutter effect uh, that works really well at this tempo. So going back into our clip, last thing I touched was beat repeat, device on, there it is. Um, this was the third effect, third line of that verse. And I think I put it somewhere like, oh, it's actually on right now. So let's go back. Let's make life easier and turn it off. It's off in our automation. We turn it on right about here. Boom. And then it's off the rest of the time. Okay, so that's our beat repeat. Number four was this rack right here. Now I'm doing two things here. First, I'm going to turn this device on. Double click on the clip. And, oops, did the same thing. I'm going to start with it off. And turn it on. So just for that line right there. Boom. And then the other thing I want to do is a filter sweep on this guy right here. Now, if I go into this little interface right here, this little UI, um, that's not going to do anything for my clip. I'm still, I'm still messing with the device on off. What I have to do is play around with the frequency. I'm going to start at the top, go back into the clip. There we are at the top. Um, I think I came down, it probably really started like here, came down a little bit, and came back up, something like that. And that is basically it. So now, if we go go through and play all this stuff, hopefully we should hear everything the way it was. Let's give it a shot. Put on your red shoes and dance Alright, so that was not too bad. That was um, that was definitely not exactly uh, like the original, if you go back and listen to the original. Uh, but I think we got pretty close, and um, I think it really kind of illustrates how um, how powerful and how much how much um, power you have over all these parameters um, with this with this clip automation. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. Um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to uh, put out some more of these tutorials a little more often. And uh, hit me up if you're looking for any private instruction, whether you're in uh, New York City or um, I can definitely do remotely via Skype. So um, hit me up. Um, I'm always looking for new students. All right, thanks for watching.